This is a cruise self-driving taxi stopped at a green light while other cars drive right past it. After it was stopped to the lights for, I watched it about five minutes and, you know, folks had to just drive around it. It was blocking traffic at a really, really busy intersection. Kelly Pendergrass took this video at the beginning of December and says it was an eye-opening moment to see this car not moving. But just to see it stopped and to see everyone really frustrated, you know, folks were honking and, and eventually going around and they, they were just realizing one after the other, there's no one in this car, you know, there's no one to honk at. Pendergrass says the car was stuck in the middle of the road for 15 minutes before a cruise technician arrived. Incidents like this are causing the NHTSA to investigate crews for creating safety hazards. They say they have received several reports of self-driving cruise vehicles stopping in the road or breaking hard in San Francisco. These cars have no person behind the wheel. A computer solely operates them. Local tech experts say self-driving technology is still a work in progress. So AI is nothing fancy, it's just basically like a data-driven system that it gets information, data from uh, experiences. In a statement, Cruz said, Cruz's safety record is publicly reported and includes having driven nearly 700,000 fully autonomous miles in an extremely complex urban environment with zero life-threatening injuries or fatalities. This is against the backdrop of over 40,000 deaths each year on American roads. There's always a balance between healthy regulatory scrutiny and the innovation we desperately need to save lives, which is why we'll continue to fully cooperate with the NHTSA. This comes as the state announced this week crews can offer driverless rides at any time of day and anywhere in San Francisco. Tech experts say despite the investigation, self-driving cars will become more popular in the coming years. I would say that less than uh, two or four, uh, four or five years, it would be uh, something very normal. In San Francisco, Ryan Curry, ABC7 News.